Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can create a scrolling text effect on your Squarespace website. What we're going to do is add a code block that contains the sentence that you would like to scroll on your website, and then we're going to add a little bit of custom CSS. That's going to create the animation effect so it starts on one side and scrolls through to the other side of the page. I'll also show you how you can use that CSS to change the color or the font style of the actual text that's going to be scrolling across the page. Now, all the codes I'm using today are listed in the description below, but I'd love to show you exactly how to use them. So let's hop into my demo site and get started here. So here we are in my demo site. I'm using version 7.1, but this will work exactly the same in any version, okay? So I'm going to hop into edit mode on my page here, and you'll see I have one section where I wrote, this is where we will add the code, and that's exactly what we're going to do. The first step is to add this line of code in a code block. So I'm just going to copy that text right here, and inside this section, I'm going to click the little plus sign and say code. So we're going to grab some code. All right, I'll paste that right there, and you'll notice what it's saying is, give this a specific class called scroll, and then this is the sentence that's going to scroll across the page. So you can change this sentence as well. Uh, right here I just wrote, here is an example of some scrolling text in a section. But as long as you have it between this final caret here and this first part right here, this is where you can put the sentence that you want to scroll on the page. Okay? I'll select apply and we'll move on to step two. Step two is to add all of this. This is a bunch of custom CSS. So I'm just going to copy all of this text right here, and we're going to hop into our CSS panel to add the animation, okay? I'll select Save, and we'll navigate over to Design, and then scroll down to Custom CSS at the bottom. So this is where we'll paste the code that we just copied. And check it out, my text has already started scrolling from the far right-hand side of the screen over to the left. Pretty awesome, right? Now let's say this is great, but I want to change the color of that font instead. At the very top of this code, right after that first bracket, I can say color red and add a semicolon. And check it out, now my font is red. What if we want to make it bold instead? I can say font weight bolder and I'll add that semicolon and it's going to come back around and check it out, we have a bold font now. You can also change the font family, the font size, anything you can normally do with text, just add it after that very first bracket in the CSS code for this specific tutorial. So that's it for this tutorial, a pretty simple code for a really unique effect. Now the codes I use today are listed in the description below, with the exception of that very first code if you're watching this on YouTube. On YouTube, I can't use those little angled caret brackets inside a description, so I'll have a link to my blog post so you can just copy and paste it right under your own Squarespace website. And again, this was in my 7.1 demo site, but it works the same in Squarespace 7 or 7.1. Alrighty, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.